Hi there, this is Natalie Thompson with Arcana Dea Design and today I'm going to talk about how to choose the right size of bangle bracelet. I love bangle bracelets. I love their simplicity, I love their shape, and I love the versatility of design possibilities that I can come up with, starting from just a single piece of wire. For me, the creative possibilities are endless and my bangle bracelets are some of my absolutely favorite pieces of jewelry to wear. The only problem with bangle bracelets, though, is that they're not at all adjustable in size. You have to know what size you want when you buy a bangle bracelet because you won't be able to change the sizing once you have it. So, let's say you've seen an absolutely fabulous bangle bracelet that you're just dying to have, but you have no idea what size you should get. This is an issue because if you get one that's too big, it just won't sit right on your wrist and it might even slip off. But if you get one that's too small, you won't even be able to get it on. What's a girl to do? Luckily, there's a quick and easy trick for measuring your bangle bracelet size and all it takes is three easy steps. Step one is to just make a closed fist with your hand. Step two is to measure the distance across the knuckles from the center of one outside knuckle to the center of the other outside knuckle. Step three, all you do next is just select the closest bangle size, small, medium, or large. That's it, that's all. But wait, you're saying. What if I don't fit any of those sizes? No worries. The bangle bracelet sizes just listed are the set standard sizes for my bangle bracelets. However, all Arcanadea designed bangle bracelets can be customized if you need a smaller or larger size. If you're interested in custom sizing, please contact me with a link to the bangle bracelet you're interested in and I'll be more than happy to add the custom size to the item listing. You can get to my contact form by clicking on the contact link at the bottom of my website at www.arcanadea.com. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next video.